Hello Hoopers and welcome to Transition Tuesday. This one's all about step through ideas. Stepping through from a low lasso. Have the hoop in a low lasso. You are going to grip it where your palm is facing you. You'll step in with your left foot first, then your right, and I like to end it with a smear. From a downward escalator, I will swing the hoop first to create momentum. It will wrap around my arm and then go to my left side. I will guide it to my right hand as I step out with my left foot, right palm facing forward to bring the hoop over, bringing my left leg up to release the hoop. From a reverse escalator, swinging the hoop behind me to go into that reverse escalator. I will guide to my left hand first, stepping out with my right foot as I bring the hoop over, giving it to my right hand palm facing up to step out to complete the step three. So one more time from behind, reverse down, step out right foot first, then bring it over to step out with the right foot again. From an escalator break. Prerequisite, of course, is an escalator break. Do an escalator break, push the hoop to where your palm is facing towards your left side. You will step in with your left foot first, then your right. So again, after that escalator, what you really wanna think about is just pushing your arm out to swing the hoop to get that grip to swing into the step through. From a vertical toss, I will have the hoop spinning towards me. I will toss it up, grabbing with my left hand to isolate down. As I isolate down, I'm going to flip my palm away from me as I turn away from my hand, grabbing with my right hand as I step out. So again, tossing the hoop up, isolating down. Palm will flip away from me as I turn away from my hand to step out and grab it with my right hand. From a horizontal toss, pretty similar to the vertical toss. Starting from a horizontal toss, bringing the hoop down, again catching with my left hand. As I step out with my left foot, I am turning towards my left hand to grab with my right hand and continuing to step out of the hoop. So let's look at it one more time. Grabbing with my left hand, isolating down. My palm is facing towards my body behind me. Grabbing with my right palm facing towards my body and stepping out of the hoop. From a smear, stepping out with our right leg first. So I will be smearing my hoop to the left. So from a smear, Start it like you would in an escalator. I'm going to guide the hoop down. I will be stepping out with my right leg first. My left palm is facing forward to bring the hoop over and stepping through. So here we are again, pushing the hoop like I do in an escalator, stepping over and through. Now with the left leg. This one's a little different. So again, smearing to the left, smearing and guiding the hoop down. The hoop will guide down and then do an extra little flip. Then I will be stepping out with my left leg first, getting into my right hand where my palm is facing me to bring the hoop over. And then releasing my left leg up to have the hoop come out. From a behind the back isolation, I will have the hoop in an inside grip behind me. As it gets to my head, I'm going to isolate down. Once I step out with my left foot, I'm going to flip the hoop where my palm was facing me to where my palm was facing away from me and step out with my foot. So again, isolating down, flipping the hoop as I step out from a counterclockwise isolation. So isolating the hoop in my right hand Inside grip, when it comes across my body, I'm going to step in with my body, guiding the hoop down to step out with my left leg first. From a two-handed clockwise isolation. With my hoop in both hands, I'm going to release my right hand, guiding down with my left hand as I step out with my left foot, flipping the hoop behind me to step out with my right foot.
I'm calling this one step around the dog. Starting from a walk the dog, I will be stepping in with my left leg first my, and grabbing with my left hand palm facing me. As I turn, my right leg will be following the hoop as I switch my grip from my left hand to my right hand behind me. I will then be stepping out with my left foot as I continue to bring the hoop in front. All right, now for the infinite step through. Starting from a reverse escalator like you did before. So stepping out with your right leg first, guiding it to your left hand to bring the hoop over and completely step out. You're then going to give it to your left hand palm facing away to guide the hoop down, stepping out with your left foot, giving it to your right hand to bring the hoop over and releasing out with your left foot. All right, from behind. So reverse escalator, stepping out with your right foot, giving it to your left hand to bring the hoop over to your right hand grip, stepping out completely to give it back to your left hand to guide the hoop down, switching the grip behind you to your right to bring the hoop over and step releasing with your left foot. So from the side, I'm just going to talk about the feet. So stepping out with your right hand, right foot first, bringing it over. Stepping out with your right again to guide down. Then stepping out with your left to bring it over to release with your left. So one, from, one more time from the side, but I'm just going to talk about the grip. So from a reverse escalator down. Grabbing the hoop with my left hand first, palm facing forward. I will then bring it over to transfer it to my right hand, palm facing forward to swing the hoop out completely. Regripping with my left hand, palm facing forward to guide it down behind me. Grabbing with my right hand behind me, palm facing me to bring the hoop over and releasing it with my left leg. leg. Hope you all enjoyed this transition tutorial and it gave you a lot of new things to work with. Happy hooping!